since he is a two-time NBA world champion. Yeah. Woo! Um, how many of you participate in sports? So just about the whole room involved in sports. How many of you talk trash when you play? <laughs> Keep your hand up. Okay, why do you talk trash? Get my opponent off his game. Okay. Get in the head. I got my frustration off. My Get your frustration, frustration off. All right. I like all those answers. Now I'm going to talk to you about it. The reason why you started playing sports was because you love the games. Whatever it is you're doing. Am I correct? Would I yeah. get correct in that assumption? Yes. And you probably started playing against somebody you know, brother, sister, cousin, best friend, mom, dad, somebody that you knew you got involved with when you started playing sports. Is that another correct assumption? Yeah. So you used to talk trash to each other all the time, but it was never personal. When I played against my dad or my son played against me, man, you can't be me. You kidding me? I, would, I better be in the wheelchair when you try to be me. We talk trash all day long, but it was never personal. At the end of the day, we go home and laugh, enjoy each other's company. If we were friends, we'd go out and get something to drink and maybe some candy or something, we'd go on home. When did it become personal? I don't know you. You're just an opponent that I'm playing against tomorrow. You work just as hard as you needed to work in order to be successful at what you do and be on the team. So why do I not like you? I don't even know you. So I love it when guys talk trash to me. Because if you're talking trash to me, you ain't concentrating on the game. You're concentrating on me, and that's what I want. Then I got you right here. I can help my other teammates out because I ain't worried about you no more. You're too busy trying to be mad at me. What you mad at me for? Because I'm a good player? The only way you ever going to get good is be a player against people better than you. So you're going to lose sometimes. It's part of the game. It makes you a better person, and it makes you a better player. I played against the greatest players in NBA history. The greatest player of all time, I played against Will Chamberlain. I tried to dunk on him, he knocked me out. I played against Dr. J. I played against George Gervin. George Gervin used to talk to you the whole game. He'd be driven up the court looking at you, telling me, oh, excuse me while I get to. He'd spin on you and go, wait here till I get back. I'm like, oh, man, no, no, that's not how it goes. And then one day somebody said something very witty. And the other person couldn't think of something to say, so he goes, your mom. <laughs> How'd my mama get the game? <laughs> my mama can't shoot, dribble, pass, all the way back. You done put in the game. My point is, if the game is not fun, don't play. Listen, I had guys score 60 on me. Pete Maravich scored 60 on me one day. Chuck Robinson scored 52. And all of a sudden, somebody score that many points on you, you're still in the game. You wouldn't be out there if you weren't good. We play as a team, we win as a team, we lose as a team. That's the way it works. And all of us who put in all the time that we put in every year to get prepared to play the games that we play, we do it because we love what we do. Yes, I got paid for doing what I did. But I still love it. I've always loved it. And there are going to be nights when I run into somebody better than me, like you named a bunch of guys, they're all better than me. I don't care about that. But I'm good, too. Because you know what? The only difference between my championship rings and Julius Irvin's championship rings is his ring says Irvin and mine says Bassett. And guess what? Without my 900 rebounds, we don't win the championship. I don't care if he averaged 35 points a game. And he'll be the first one to come to me and say, Tim, thank you, man. Thank you for protecting me, not allowing anyone to hurt me. Thank you for what you do for guarding the other team's best player. You don't have to be the star. You have to be a teammate. Teammates stand up for each other. Teammates respect each other. And teammates don't denigrate their opponents. That's why I talk trash. That's the reason why I don't, don't need to. Besides, guess what? It takes two people to talk trash. And if one of them's not talking, there ain't no trash talking about. 
And don't let him be winning the game. If I'm winning the game and you talk talking trash to me, I just turn around and score for you. <laughs> <laughs> you talking to me? Oh, no, I know you're not talking to me. <laughs> That's all you got to do. You don't have to say a word. You win in the game. The problem is, and I'll close with this, here's the problem with trash talk. If somebody on another team talks trash to you and you don't do anything about it, you got to answer to your teammates because you didn't respond. You didn't say anything back. Now your teammates, what's wrong with you? You scared of them? They don't let them talk to you like that. What's up? Oh, come on, man. I can't believe you. Like, oh, man, you let them talk to you like that? So now you got to come out of your comfort zone to make your teammates feel like you, you, you know, you tough and I, I better talk trash back. Because if I don't, my teammates are going to think less of me. You're with the wrong team. You're with the wrong team. Because they never catch the first person, okay? They catch the person who retaliates. Remember that, guys. It's happened in sports for hundreds of years. The person who commits the original sin never gets caught. It's the person who retaliates. So, listen. Play the game because you love it. Not because you're trying to intimidate somebody. If you're good enough, you're going to intimidate them anyway. That's, you know, that's part of the job. Respect your opponent, respect your team and your teammates, and respect yourself to know that you've given the effort that you should give every time you go out to play whatever it is that you do. And my last thing is just love the game. All right, guys, thank you.